This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. The Lansing Police Department is investigating a shooting that sent one man to the hospital. Officers were called to a report of a shooting in the 2000 block of William Street on the city's west side around 1.04 a.m. on Monday, August 5th. A 34-year-old man was taken to the hospital and is currently in stable condition. The man had gunshot wounds to both of his legs. According to police, the victim and witnesses gave conflicting statements as to what happened. Police are not ruling out that the gunshots may have been self-inflicted. Anyone with information is being asked to call the Lansing Police Department at 517-483-4600. A 14-year-old girl is killed in an accident early Sunday morning in Shaftsburg. The Shiawassee County Sheriff's Office says that Hannah Hidalgo of Hazlitt was struck while walking across Lansing Road near the intersection of Shaftsburg Road at around 3.30 a.m. Sunday. Deputies say that alcohol is believed to be a factor. Fox 47 is checking on the statement, and the press release does not have any information on the status of the driver. They say that the incident remains under investigation. On Saturday, police discovered two live grenades in Eden County. At approximately 11.41 a.m., Eden County Sheriff deputies responded to a storage facility located in Hamlin Township in regards to a possible explosive device being discovered. A citizen reported locating what he believed to be a grenade, which was contained inside a military shipping container. Deputies arrived at on scene and the citizen advised he located the item while sorting through his father's belongings and believed the grenade was from the World War II era. The Eden County Sheriff's Office contacted the Michigan State Police Bomb Squad who responded to the scene. Through their investigation, two live grenades were located and seized for proper disposal. With the shootings in El Paso and Dayton over the weekend, many are asking what they should do if confronted with the same situation. What you do when confronted with an active shooter could help save your life and the life of your family. Law enforcement says preparing yourself for these tragedies could mean survival. The first thing that you do is run. Do anything you can to get away from where the shooter is. If you can help others run and spread the word of an active shooter, then do so. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security says that if you can't run, you should hide. Hide in rooms where you can lock a door or stack things in front of the door. And if you can't hide, fight. If you're with a group of people, band together to fight back, make noise, find things to throw at the shooter, and yell. Michigan State Police are urging people to speak up and say something if they ever hear something out of the ordinary. Learn more about all of these in all mid-Michigan's breaking news on Fox47news.com.